I'm Mike, and in this episode, the main reason that women actually outlive men. And contrary to popular belief, it's not this. The real reason is the way that men eat. I'll get to the specifics in a bit, but first a few facts. Women now live five to six years longer than men. That's the same difference in longevity between Japan, the longest living country in the world, and USA, which comes in at number 34. And at the age of 100, there are now only half as many men as there are women. If you ask most people why this is true, they'll probably tell you that men are idiots. But in reality, men only have a 2% increased chance of dying from accidents. For anyone that's really looked at the numbers, it's clear that the main difference is our leading killer, heart disease. Heart disease kills men at a younger age than women. Just envision somebody getting a heart attack. Are they a man? Probably. That's because between 70 and 89% of heart attacks occur in men. If you go looking for an answer to this disparity, you'll hear that estrogen has protective effects on heart health, and that is true, but it becomes dwarfed when you look at the differences in diet between men and women. Straight from the USDA, women eat 20% less than men, but they eat 36% less meat. That means that proportionately, men are eating a lot more meat than women. The most important factor here may be that men are consuming 60% more animal fat. That means it's fair to say that they're probably consuming 60% more saturated fat than women. And as we have induced experimentally in a controlled lab situation, the more you feed a human saturated fat, the higher their LDL cholesterol goes. And LDL or bad cholesterol is universally accepted to be a driver of heart disease. And this whole concept can be demonstrated in population studies. Here is a study done by the National Cancer Institute that looked at 500,000 people. They found that the men who ate the most meat had a 31% higher rate of all-cause mortality, in particular, a 27% higher risk of cardiovascular disease. And when looking at our second leading cause of death, cancer, the men had a 22% higher chance of dying from cancer. And I go over that in my five ways that meat causes cancer video here. As for the women in that study, they found that those who ate the highest amount of processed meat had a 38% increased chance of cardiovascular disease than those who ate the least amount of processed meat, showing that if you eat like a man, you're probably gonna die like a man too. Women also have other healthier eating habits. Going back to that USDA data, women eat 19% more cruciferous vegetables than men. That includes cabbage, kale, and broccoli. As this study shows, quote, overall fruit and vegetable intake was inversely associated with risk of total mortality. A dose response pattern was particularly evident for cruciferous vegetable intake. So what is truly responsible for this diet disparity? Well, according to Men's Health, quote, vegetables are for girls. If your instincts tell you following a vegetarian diet isn't manly, you're right. And this has actually been thoroughly studied. A professor by the name of Mark Rothgerber published a research paper on this in the journal Men and Masculinity. He said, quote, Meat consumption is a symbol of patriarchy resulting from its long-held alliance with manhood, power, and virility. And when comparing male to female beliefs, he found that, quote, men expressed more favorable attitudes toward eating meat, denied animal suffering, believed that animals were lower in the hierarchy than humans, provided religious and health justifications for consuming animals, and believed that it was human destiny to eat meat. In other words, when your manhood's on the line, you can think of any excuse. It's all quite ironic because the process of eating meat and other animal products actually makes you less manly. It plays with your testosterone levels. Here's a chart showing vegans versus vegetarians and omnivores. Vegans have the highest level of testosterone. So from a quantitative hormonal perspective, eating no meat is most manly. That might be because people in the US consume 30% of their exogenous estrogen from meat and the other 60 to 80% comes from dairy products. Not to mention, heart disease has a very powerful early warning sign, and that is erectile dysfunction, which is the clogging of your penile artery. And in the end, that is the least manly thing there is. And finally, women also just have all these social pressures to look healthier and eat healthier that men don't have. Case in point, the recent glorification of dad bod. And to tie it all together, looking at the Adventist 2 study, which is following 73,000 people, 5,500 of which are vegan, is finding that vegans are dying at an 18% slower rate than omnivores. 
We've got to wait a little bit longer until we have life expectancy data, but that's all pretty compelling. And this effect is most dramatic in men, which supports the connection between animal product consumption and men dying younger. In conclusion, women outlive men because they delay or escape heart disease and other diet-related diseases by eating less meat and other animal products. This is driven by social pressures and conditioning that connects meat and masculinity, driving men to eat more meat. So if you want to live as long as a woman, try dropping the meat and adopting a plant-based diet. Remember, heart disease is the main risk, and this is what a plant-based diet can do for your heart. Not surprisingly, the vast majority of vegans are women. That's probably because they don't need to stoke their masculinity by eating dead animals. So eat like a woman and go vegan. Thank you for watching.